Just Your Tigers here. What's up? Great day. Hola to my Spanish people. Bonjour to my French people. I don't know any other language. I'm sorry. What's up? What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Just Your here. You're to succeed and follow your dreams today. I kind of want to freestyle. You know, in the words of my friend Desmond Bonet, spitball in a sense. Kind of add some salsone to these ideas that I have percolating in my mind. Excuse me. I want to dedicate this to everybody who is celebrating a birthday. All right. Everybody who's celebrating a birthday, this one is for you. You know, and I know it's tough. I know it's tough because a lot of us are, excuse me, used to being outside, used to celebrating. I'm pretty sure a lot of us had plans, you know, for their special year. You know, everybody likes to say happy birthday, but I normally say happy new year. And why do I say happy new year is because you are embarking on a new year. You know, we tend to say happy new year to people in December when that's not really the new year. The new year is when the seasons really change. The new year starts in the spring. Why? Because that's when new life is starting again. You know, that's when you see the the trees growing back their, their leaves. That's where you see the roses growing their petals. That's where you hear birds again. That's where you see the animals like the squirrels and birds come back out. So it's a new year. So during the birthday um, days, you'll notice how, you know how Facebook is, it reminds you of whose birthday it is and you know, on Instagram, everybody knows when their birthday is. You you you'll see it on their timeline. You know, they will they will showcase showcase that. You know, for self gratification, I always say Happy New Year, Happy New Year, enjoy your New Year. Now, I know these are some hard times for people, and the last thing that they wanted to do this year is spend time locked in. You know, spend time by themselves in a nutshell. You know, there are some people who have the liberty of being with family, per se, during this time. You know, and if you're one of those people, then do not take it for granted. Cherish the moments and the words of Sade. Cherish the day and just make the best of it. You know, for those who are by themselves, you know... If you're okay with being by yourself, then that's one thing. But if you're new to this and have to switch the roles from the roles, excuse me, from being a, a extrovert to an introvert, then I know that this is a lot harder for you. So during this time, I want to just offer a few things for inspiration that you can do during your birthday and pray that it is a successful and enjoyable, but most importantly, a blessed and safe one. All right. So as I said, I'm kind of spitballing and freestyling, you know, and I just wanted to share some inspiration that I just came up with that I think may, may help make your birthday um, a great one. Number one, even if you, I'm not going to start off like that. Number one, pray, right? Pray for yourself in a nutshell, you know, pray that pray that you're thinking Pray to thank God, Mother Nature, and the universe for getting your new year, first and foremost. Pray that you're in the right state of mind, you know, and that you are in a, 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 a vessel. When I say about vessel, I'm talking about a, a 
human flesh. This that we're in is a vessel. Our spirit is, is, is in a vessel. So be happy that you are in a vessel and you get to experience a new day. You get to open your eyes. You get to breathe in air. You get to you get to taste. You get to look at yourself in a mirror and realize a new day. So appreciate that. Because we all know that due to this corona, due to this pandemic, that a lot of people are not experiencing life. You know, we're seeing it from public figures. We're seeing it from celebrities. We're seeing it all over. We're hearing it from friends. We're hearing it from um, some people in our families. We're hearing it from significant others. We're just hearing the stories of how people are dropping left and right. So spend that time being grateful and thankful for for life and its existence. Number two, if you have the liberty of being with friends and family, celebrate with them. You know, this is a time to celebrate with them. You know, um, if you choose to celebrate with your family and friends, have a dinner. Order some Order some takeout from a place that is, you know, uh, that has food and enjoy this time, you know, perhaps watch a movie together, perhaps play board games, perhaps, you know, definitely do the usual, the cake and sing happy birthday, you know, depending on you know, if you have the liberty of getting a cake. If you don't, then just do the ice cream and put the candles in it, you know, light it and enjoy all your favorite your favorite snack, you know, and cherish it that way. Um if you're by yourself, you know, I mean you could even do this with even if you have family um around you, but if you're by yourself you know, you you can have, you, you you could do a Facebook live party, you know, or you could do an Instagram live party, you know, have people celebrate their birthday with you, you know, throw a party, make an event, you know, have one person playing music, have one person, you know, um, Have one person playing the music, you know, if you want to have people dress up, you know, if you want to. And just celebrate life, man. Just just celebrate life, you know. Or if you don't want to go to that extreme, in a sense, then you can just have the party by yourself. You know, FaceTime, you know, whether you have the privilege of doing Zoom or StreamYard or any online service that lets you do uh, face-to-face interaction and celebrate life like that you know and postpone your party for when we get out of this you know have a plan of where you have 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 a plan of three things that you want to do when this thing is over you know and if you had plans with your friends communicate with them and let them know like all right this is not feasible right now However, when we get out of this, I like I like to do something. And what the great thing about that is, is that if you have friends and your birthday is near each other, and you guys can celebrate bigger when we get out of this, when we get out of this and we're able to, um, I'm not going to even say go back to, I'm not going to say go back to um, life as it is. I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is when we when when we are allowed to get back on the road again. Yeah. I'm I'm going to say that instead of saying you know uh, uh uh when we when we are allowed out, you know, when we get back on the road again, you know, when 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 we are able to drive our vehicles walk our vehicles, move and experience this world again. In a sense, 
then I guess that would be feasible for us. Other things that you can do is, you know, if you're not a big prayer, you can meditate in the morning, you know, and just take in all the goodness that has happened to you the year before. If you haven't had a good year, then goes back to the journal, goes back to the journal and journaling. Write down the things that you would like to accomplish for the new year, for, for your new year. Write down some of the things that you see yourself doing within that year, you know, and pray that it aligns to where you're at and it's a level up for you, you know? It's like, it's almost like you're measuring, you know? You're measuring where you're at and you're writing wishful thinking of where you want to go in the future, all right? And then you write the steps needed to get to get to that level in a nutshell, you know? It, this is how this is how elevation is happening you know you, you see that in you see that in life you see it with um evolution to a certain degree when it comes to like um animals you see it with insects you you, you see it, you, you see it with even humans to a certain degree uh just a, just a circle of life in a sense you know and you cherish those moments, you know, because it's sad that we have to, you know, spend this time like this, you know, but what can we do? You know, we have to make the best of our days. We have to make the best of our situations. We have to catapult ourselves so we can reach new heights. You know, we have to push ourselves even when we are in discomfort so we can get to that spot in which we think it is comfortable, you know? So don't let this quarantine get you. Don't let this ruin, you know, your your new year or your birthday, you know, honor it, hold it. And cherish it. You know, this is something that, you know, and, and let me just stop myself and say this, right? For those who are sad and want to go out and experience, you know, their birthday, whether they had plans to go in a club or, you know, a, 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 a party bowl or even go to a nice restaurant and, and, and eat. I want to challenge you to take yourself out the situation right now, you know, and I know that it's your birthday in a nutshell, but listen, look at your Facebook, look at your social media, look at your neighbor, look at around you. Nobody is celebrating the birthday that they wanted to celebrate this year, you know, and I'm not saying nobody like everybody, but the majority of people out there are not celebrating their birthday or new year the way they thought they would. Everybody is doing it differently. Everybody is doing it in a way that they um, couldn't have imagined. Nobody thought that we would be in this in in this predicament, in this situation, except for the people who plan this stuff. So what we have to do is just cherish the moment and enjoy it and have some fun in this situation, you know? Have some fun and enjoy the moment. Because, listen, once this is over and we have to go back and you have to go back to work, you have to go back to a job, you have to worry about paying your bills, in a nutshell, if your bills haven't been frozen, if you have to worry about some kind of, you know, means of transportation, you know, like going on a train and taking a bus, you know, or... Just go back to a regular routine, right? You're going to wish that you were had a vacation. You, you're going to wish that you were relaxing. You're going to wish that you were still quarantined, in a sense. So, let's just enjoy these moments and make the best of it. 
you know, and challenge ourselves, you know, to inspire others to enjoy their birthday and their new year. If you have any suggestions and things that I haven't said, please comment it below. Comment all ideas of how people can enjoy their birthday during quarantine. And let's spread love, man. You know, spread love like the Brooklyn way. Just Yearn here. Yearn to succeed and follow your dreams. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe. I know it sounds like a lot. However, I appreciate all you tigers out there who have liked, who have commented, who are sharing these messages. I want to reach out to a lot more people. I desire to help others who might need this help. So if I helped you, you know, if I have brightened your day, if I had shed some light onto you as far as information, as far as inspiration, as far as encouragement, don't be afraid to hit this subscribe button and share it with somebody and tell them to subscribe. All right. Once again, happy birthday to everybody who has celebrated a birthday, man. I know this is this is some troubling times. I know that this is some times that we couldn't have imagined. But hold fast, man. Hold fast and know that this too shall pass. Just Yearn here. Yearn to succeed and follow your dreams. One love. Just like that.